What's up, Booster Bay fam? Today, let's tackle a burning question that's been making the rounds. If Starship has around 18,000 to 25,000 heat shield tiles, would 1% failure rate, about 180 to 250 tiles, jeopardize the mission? SpaceX's Starships isn't just a marvel of rocket engineering. It's also wrapped in what might be the most ambitious heat shield ever built. Thousands upon thousands of ceramic and metallic tiles protect Starship from re-entry temperatures hotter than molten lava. The numbers are jaw-dropping. Most ships have between 18,000 and 25,000 tiles, each a custom fit to withstand the forces of hypersonic flight. But here's the kicker. What if 1% of those tiles failed? That's up to 250 gaps in Starship's armor. Sounds terrifying, right? But how worried should we really be? Let's dig deeper. Not every tile is equally critical. Some tiles shield the hottest spots like the ship's belly, while others, especially on less exposed areas, face far less heat. In past missions, both the Space Shuttle and Starship lost dozens or even hundreds of tiles during flights, yet returned safely more often than not. What truly matters is where the failures occur. A single tile lost in a critical area, such as the nose or leading edges, can be enough to threaten the vehicle's safety. Just ask anyone who remembers the tragic Columbia accident. Many tiles lost near less sensitive areas, the mission might still succeed, and SpaceX can patch things up afterward. Here's where SpaceX gets clever. They are constantly innovating on materials, attachment methods, and system redundancies. The attachment pins, coatings, and layering approaches are evolving with every test flight to prevent mass loss. Flight 10 and Flight 11 even tested deliberate failure scenarios just to push resilience to the limit. It's tough work. Elon Musk himself has called the heat shield the biggest remaining problem for Starship's full reusability. Still, it's honest to say, losing 250 tiles, especially in unlucky spots, could absolutely risk the mission. But relying on brute numbers is misleading. Damage location, redundancy, and ongoing improvements matter as much as the failure percentage. Unlike the shuttle, Starship aims for faster inspection and much easier tile replacement between flights, reducing overall risk. So while 1% failure might sound frightening, SpaceX isn't just crossing fingers and hoping for the best. Every flight is about learning, finding weaknesses, patching them, and making each rocket safer than the last. What do you think, Booster Bay fam? Would you write Starship if you saw a few tiles missing? Drop your take below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for space updates that go deeper than anyone else right here on the Booster Bay.